Now, we've been leveraging virtualization for a couple of decades already. And unless you've been off the grid, you can't have missed that containers and the best friend, Kubernetes, are taking over the world. So let's ask the million dollar question. How do we make infrastructure virtualization and containers coexist within the enterprise? Over the past few years, Kubernetes has demonstrated its ability to provide a highly reliable, scalable, and extensible platform. These days, Kubernetes exposes an extremely extensible API, and there's even a CNCF project called Kubevert, specifically designed to welcome VMs as first-class citizens. However, this project alone doesn't offer a seamless user experience in terms of management and operations, and much of the heavy lifting still needs to be done manually. But what if I told you there's a way around this? Here at Spectral Cloud, we've merged the strengths of our platform, Palet, together with Kubevert. Let's delve deeper. Virtual Machine Orchestrator, or VMU, enables you to quickly deploy Kubevert as a pre-configured pack as part of a Palet cluster profile. A cluster profile is a composable blueprint that is used to create Kubernetes cluster with Palet. It consists of pre-configured layers, including the operating system, the Kubernetes distribution, and any additional software or tool you want to install in your cluster. With VMO, what you get is a shiny new VM dashboard as well as pre-selected options. This includes control over your VM networking configuration, basic VM templates, the ability to create hybrid services composed of both pods and virtual machines, and more functions we're going to see in a minute. And because virtual machines require persistent storage available across multiple nodes for high availability, you must choose an appropriate CSI pack. One of the main advantages of VMO is that it directly sits on top of bare metal servers where the operating system is also managed by Palette. That means two things. First, Palette manages the deployment of all layers of the stack from the base operating system, in that case Ubuntu with Mass, to the VM environment, and of course, also includes Kubernetes and its ecosystem components. Before moving on with VM deployment, let's take a quick look at some details about the profile definition. Once you've created your standard VMO profile, you can further customize some infrastructure component by creating add-on profiles. This includes modification to the network, such as the addition of more VLANs. This operation is as simple as adding a new manifest containing the new VLAN information. Now, let's go to the point and deploy a virtual machine from our new dashboard. You can select a pre-existing template or create the VM from scratch. The usual options are available, such as the number of CPUs, memory, and storage. What's interesting is that in the next step, you're presented with the corresponding YAML configuration file, where you can also customize the Cloud Unix section or any other parameters available in the basic Kubevert virtual machine resource. Once you're happy with the configuration, just hit Create Virtual Machine, and voila. While the VM is deploying, you can monitor the events on the right. Now that the VM is ready, let's explore the networking options. Networking for VMs in VMU operates in the same way as it does for pods running in the cluster. However, we've made the options easily configurable because, hey, less YAML is always more enjoyable. The available options include Masquerade, the default for pods, Bridge, or SRIOV for hardware native performance. Let's explore other features available from the VM dashboard. From the menu on the right here, you can see standard lifecycle tasks, such as start, stop, live migration, or the console available in the middle tab. In addition, if you remember the scheduler pack from the cluster profile, it helps us provide distributed resource balancing by restarting pods on nodes with more appropriate resources. We've also baked in snapshot capabilities, depending on the CSI you will be using. If your CSI supports the Kubernetes snapshot API primitives, you can easily backup and restore your disks in a few clicks. The last thing I want to show you today is another essential component introduced by the Grafana pack, virtual machine monitoring. 
you can display standard historical statistics about your VMs or create your own customizations. That concludes our demo for today. If you want to learn more, visit our website, check out our docs, or try it by yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.